So plot twist, the, uh, the air compressor, NFG, it is bad. Real bad. So last night we got this thing hooked up to power, uh, pressurized it to 125 PSI, checked for leaks, everything seemed good. So I then proceeded in installing an automatic uh, drain system so that way we could uh, keep it drained. And in doing so I had to drain the tank. Yeah, that's rust. We filled this bucket up halfway with rusty water. So once the tank was drained, I could take the bottom fitting off and plumb that in. Well, uh, as it turned out, this thing, I put a new uh, unloader valve in it, and we got it charged up to about, I don't know, 100 PSI. And uh, I'm going to have to invert you here. But uh, right down there, a little hard to see, but the paint's all chipped off. And uh, that is not from the tank drain. This tank has a hole in it. It is NFG. It is FUBAR. So I'm going to cut a hole in the side of this thing. We'll see what the hell happened. So this air compressor was inherited from my grandfather. It was installed in his garage. And uh, the best I can assume is due to lack of maintenance caused this tank to fail. Uh, granted, yes, the tank was manufactured in about 1995. Uh, we can look at the data plate later and figure it out, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and cut a hole in this thing so we can see what the heck is going on inside. Where's your flashlight? I'm gonna put a camera in there with a flashlight. I can see probably what's going on. Give me a bright light. Yeah, I have one of my pucks. That's why I made it big enough so I can get my arm in there. Get all the air. Oh right. fuck! It is. Oh my god! That thing was a bomb. Yeah. No good. Oh. No good at all. <laughs> Here. Here, leaf blower. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. There, now we can see. Alla verga! Yep, that is, uh, that is rust. And that is not good. It looks like a, what lake is that? Um, Harper Dry Lake, Soggy Dry Lake, um, the Salt Flats, Bonneville. Yep. <laughs> oh no. Not good. All oh, right. no. Well, this air compressor shot. Wow. So we'll leave it at that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need a new tank. Compressor motor is good, but uh, yeah, it's done. So yeah, catch you on the next one. All right, so here's the aftermath. I got the tank torn down and laid down and uh, yeah yeah and you can see more rust spots starting in these locations here I poked at them but they didn't seem to go all the way through but this one this one absolutely did yep so good call on decomming the air compressor. This I uh, I've been mulling it over for about the last two hours now, and uh, we had this thing charged up 125 psi, and we're standing next to it for over an hour. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> not good, not good at all. So um, I'm saving all of the parts from the air compressor. I'll probably uh, either buy another tank because the, uh, the head and the motor are still good, but the stupid thing is I can get a whole air compressor for a thousand with a new motor and a new pump. And a tank with a mount on it is a thousand dollars.
So I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. I don't need big old shop air in here. I have other air compressors. I've got, you know, a Husky and another Speed Air. But um, I just, I wanted to use this one because big air compressor. But yeah, test your equipment. Test your equipment. So on that, I'll, uh, I'll leave that there. Oops, sorry for the sun. I'll leave that there. But uh, yeah, I just, uh, yeah. Scrap metal, <laughs> not to be used, not good probably see the whole of light. Yeah, you can see the light over there. One, two. So, yeah, it's done. To the scrapyard it goes.